How to use Acronis Active Protection in Acronis True Image 2017 New Generation. Acronis True Image 2017 New Generation introduces a new feature, Acronis Active Protection, currently available for Windows users only. It consists of two key elements protection against data loss to ransomware, and a self-defense module that protects your Acronis true image backups and settings from unwanted modification. Acronis Active Protection will help you against ransomware, a malicious software that encrypts files and demands a ransom payment to decrypt them. Acronis Active Protection works this way. After it detects that a number of files became encrypted, it stops the encryption process asks you if in fact this was not intentional, and then recovers unmodified versions of affected files. It then blocks the ransomware. Acronis Active Protection always runs in background, starting automatically with the system. Let's see in more detail what to do if you see a pop-up warning from Acronis Active Protection about detected suspicious behavior. To see what files on your computer became the target of a possible attack, click View Affected Files. The first time Acronis Active Protection detects suspicious activity, it does not terminate the responsible process automatically. It freezes it and lets you decide what to do, in case that process was started intentionally. If you have encrypted those files yourself intentionally and believe that the warning from Acronis Active Protection is a false alarm, click Trust. The next time the same process is found to be encrypting your files, you can permanently add it to the whitelist, a list of programs you trust. You can always change your mind and remove the process from the whitelist. To do that, open Settings from the Tray menu or from the Product Interface. Move the mouse cursor over the executable file you want to remove from the whitelist and click Remove. If you have not encrypted the files intentionally, click Block. If it is not the first time the process is trying to encrypt files, you can permanently block it. Click Recover Files to attempt recovering unmodified versions of the files. The program will attempt restoration from temporary storage or from a regular Acronis backup. To skip the prompt for file restoration and always recover affected files automatically in the future, select the checkbox Always recover files after blocking a process. By default, all of your files are under Acronis Active Protection Shield. If you want to disable Active Protection for a particular folder or file type, click Settings on the left action bar, and then Manage Exclusions. Here you can specify folders that you do not want to be watched by Acronis Active Protection. You can also exclude files of a specific type using a mask. In addition to keeping your files safe, Acronis Active Protection also prevents unknown programs from making any changes to your backups and Acronis True Image settings. The first time a tampering attempt is noticed, you will see a notification message telling you what program tried to access your backups or Acronis True Image settings. All the subsequent attempts will be blocked silently. To disable the self-protection, Enter the settings and uncheck the corresponding option. You can turn off and on Acronis Active Protection completely, either from the Tray icon menu or from the main program interface. Thank you for watching. To learn more about other new features in Acronis True Image 2017 New Generation, click the links displayed on the screen.